today I'm at Portia of Huntington in Huntington, New York, and I was just handed the key to this 2018 Audi R8 V10 Plus. This car is pre-owned, it has 2,500 miles on it, and they're asking $169,900 for it. So if you're interested, come to Porsche Huntington and see Mark and he'll help you out. But today, I'm gonna be doing a walk around video of it, showing you the outside, the inside, and then we're gonna start it up. So here's the key. It's just black on this side with R8 branding, and then if you flip it over, you've got four basic functions. You can unlock the car, you can lock the car, you can open the front trunk, and you've got your panic button. And of course, you've got the four Audi rings right there. So if we lock the car, if we unlock the car, so although this color looks white, it's actually Suzuka gray metallic, and the interior of this car is express red, which we'll be taking a look at shortly. This Audi R8 V10 Plus is a 2018 model year, and Audi didn't even make a 2019 R8, they just skipped to the 2020 R8. But for 2018, Audi made Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard features on all R8 models. What also comes standard on the 2018 R8 models are laser LED headlights. The R8 is Audi's flagship supercar and it has a mid-engine layout in addition to all-wheel drive. It has a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and a 5.2-liter V10 engine that produces 610 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. This car can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds thanks to the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that sends power to all four wheels. This car also has a top speed of 205 miles per hour. This car can hit 124 miles per hour in just 9 seconds and 186 miles per hour in 26 seconds. Compared to the regular R8 model, the R8 V10 Plus has 70 more horsepower and 15 more pound-feet of torque. The V10 Plus also has a sport-tuned suspension and Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. The V10 Plus can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds, while the base model is a tad slower at 3.5 seconds. This car comes standard with a lot of features such as full LED headlights, Napa leather upholstery, heated 18-way power adjustable seats, a virtual cockpit digital instrument cluster, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, keyless entry and start, and 19-inch alloy wheels. 20-inch alloy wheels are optional. The Audi R8 is closely related to the Lamborghini Huracan since both use the same V10 engine and dual-clutch transmission. Brand new, this car starts at $194,400, but since this is a 2018 and it's pre-owned, it's had one owner and it has 2,500 miles on the odometer. Porsche Huntington is asking $169,900 for this. So now let's take a look at the outside of this car. Of course, you've got LED headlights and a black front grille. And this particular R8 V10 Plus is debadged. The first owner took the four Audi rings off the hood. This one has a carbon fiber front splitter carbon fiber on the side of the car and here's your fuel cap that has R8 branding on it. You also have carbon fiber mirror housings, black Y-spoke wheels with gray brake calipers, and standard on the V10 Plus you get this fixed rear wing in exposed carbon fiber and it looks incredible under the sun. This car has a mid-engine layout and there's a 5.2 liter V10 engine. The first owner also took off the Audi rings off of the back of the car. So this car is completely debadged. And that includes the V10 badges that would normally be on the side of the car as well. This car has a carbon fiber rear diffuser. So you've got a carbon fiber front splitter in the front and a carbon fiber rear diffuser back here. So now that we took a look at the outside of this car, let's take a look at the inside. So this car has express red leather diamond stitch seats. 
and these are part of the sports seat package with diamond stitching. You've got an Alcantara headliner with diamond stitching, and that's not something you see often. I can't remember the last time I've seen a headliner with diamond stitching. These power seats move 18 different ways, and the controls are on the side of the seat. You've also got pneumatic side and leg bolsters. This V10 Plus has the full leather package, which means basically everything in this interior is leather, including the upper and lower dash and the doors. So this R8 V10 Plus has express red and black leather on the doors. And very similarly to the Lamborghini Huracan, this door handle is pretty identical. Same with the lock and unlock buttons placement and shape. To match the mirror housings and the carbon fiber on the side of the car, You've got carbon fiber door sills with R8 branding. And you even have a mirror on the door sill, so that's interesting. So, let's hop in. So right now, I'm sitting inside the V10 Plus, and what's most noticeable is this 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, and of course, the steering wheel. It has a flat bottom, and you've got R8 branding on the bottom there. The whole thing is perforated leather, which feels great to the touch, and of course, you've got your four Audi rings in the center, and you've got quite a few buttons and switches on the steering wheel. So the most important one is right here, the engine start stop button. This one's for the exhaust valve. This one I would assume is for performance mode and this one is to change between the different driving modes So if we press that You'll see it pulls up in the instrument cluster comfort auto dynamic and individual and then if you press this one It puts it into performance mode over here. You can answer a phone call do voice command turn up the volume of the radio, play the previous song or play the next song, and if you want to mute whatever you're listening to, you just press that button. This button activates the sound for the navigation system. Over here, you've got two very important buttons, one to go left and one to go right, and they control the left side of the digital instrument cluster. So if I press the left button, you've got date and time. If I press the right one, you've got radio, telephone, and navigation. So to change between those different pages, you just press these buttons. And you can scroll between the different radio stations with this switch right here. And to select the radio station, you just press on the switch. To go back, you press this button and it brings you to the home screen. So with this switch, you can change between the different options. So if we go to vehicle, pulls up your tachometer in the center with the odometer down there, the time and the temperature. To the right, it tells you how much power and torque you're using. And all the way to the right is your gas gauge. And this instrument cluster is surrounded by carbon fiber. Carbon fiber also surrounds the general area of the instrument cluster. So the instrument cluster is there, but you've also got carbon fiber here that carries around the back and to over here around the instrument cluster. You've also got carbon fiber surrounding the AC vents. You've got one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, and two in the center. Other than that, you've just got leather on the doors and the dash. The only place in this interior where you have Alcantara is the A-pillar and the headliner, including the sun visors. So the entire headliner is Alcantara with diamond stitching, which looks super cool. And the sun visors are Alcantara as well. In the center here, you've got carbon fiber trim surrounding all your major buttons and your gear lever. So you've got your parking brake, you have a turn dial over here to control the display on the instrument cluster. So there's a lot of different dials and switches that control the instrument cluster. This is one of them, same with this, if we press menu. It brings up that page. If you want to select a page, such as vehicle, you just push down on this dial and it takes you there. You can also go to telephone, navigation, radio, and media. Right in front of those buttons and switches, you've got your gear lever, which is perforated leather on the top. So you've got reverse, neutral, park, and drive. And then to the right of that, you have the volume switch for the instrument cluster. So that can be used for radio, navigation, stuff like that, whatever requires volume. Just turn it up or turn it down. You have buttons for traction control and your hazard lights, as well as some storage 
right in front of that and you've got two USB ports in there to charge your phone. Over here you've got your climate control buttons and switches so if you want to turn up the AC or if you want to turn it down. If you want to put the defogger on max and this switch changes where the air comes out. You can also turn on the rear defogger with that button right there. Up here you've got your cabin lights got some decent space in the glove box and the entire dashboard the top and the bottom is made out of leather and that's part of the full leather package in this car you've also got quattro branding on the dash which is audi's all-wheel drive system and bang and olufsen sound system over here you've got your cup holder so you push in on this button lift this up and then you've got access to your two cup holders and behind the two seats you have a net for storage you also have some storage in the doors and over here on on the driver's door you've got your window switches, your mirror switches, and the button to release the front trunk, which has 8 cubic feet of space. <laughs> So that's the 2018 Audi R8 V10 Plus. This car is for sale here at Porsche of Huntington. So if you're interested, come to Porsche Huntington and see Mark and he'll help you out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.